Hey there, everybody. It's Lance with Love to Hate back again with the next segment of playthrough videos for the Lord of the Rings adventure book game from Ravensburger. Now, this is a series of solo playthroughs that I have been doing. And we are currently on chapter six. If you have not seen chapters one through five, go ahead and click the I in the top right corner and it will take you to that playlist of videos where you can get caught up. In this particular chapter, we are doing the Battle of Helm's Deep. This here says the fellowship fights tirelessly to defend Helm's Deep, but are forced to retreat again and again as they face the overwhelming forces of Sauron. Now, in this particular scenario, what we have going on here, there are three different sections on the board. We've got the red section, yellow section, and blue section. And each of those sections is going to correspond with a challenge over here. We've got the top challenge, which is red, and this is charge. We've got the second challenge, which is yellow, and this is come on, we can take them. And then the third challenge is blue, and it's right out with me. And the reason I bring that up is because the orcs down here in the bottom left are going to be coming out on the board in the particular section that we are at for the challenges. So they'll come out in the red initially, and then once I complete charge, then they'll start coming out in the yellow. Once I complete come on, we can take them, then they'll start coming out on the blue section. So that's how that is going to work. I do have to do these in order. Uh, the first challenge charge is going to have me have Aragorn and Gimli here on Culvert Explosion. And I also need to have Gandalf. We've got Gandalf back again, and this is Gandalf the White now. He's on his own separate track over here. I need to have Gandalf here on day two. And to advance him on this track, I need to spend the uh, set of cards that are shown on the next day on the spot ahead of him. So I need to have him on day two, and Aragorn and Gimli here on Culvert Explosion, and then I need to pay a red and a gray, and I will have completed that. Come on, we can take them. I need to have Aragorn and Gimli at the causeway, which is way down here on the yellow track. I need to have Legolas at Theoden's spot here, and then I need to have Gandalf on day three. And then I need to spend a red and an orange, and I will have completed Come on, we can take them. Right out with me, I will need to have Aragorn and Legolas at the Great Hall space up here. And uh, Gan uh, Gimli needs to be on the uh, Hornburg space here. And then Gandalf needs to be on day four. Then I'll spend a green and a gray, and I will have completed right out with me. And then the last thing is to have Gandalf either on day five or at Cliffside and then I will complete the chapter by spending a green and a purple. If I do that, then I complete the chapter. Uh, some other special rules before we get going. So there are going to be some orcs out here and that's what the plot deck is going to be doing is putting out orcs. If there's ever a time when I don't have enough orcs to put out on the board, I lose the chapter. How the orcs are going to work, they're gonna be placed on the lowest numbered spot for whatever color region I'm currently on and we'll fill up from low to high. If there's already one that on that spot, then we'll skip over and go to the next one. And the three miniatures that I have out here on the board, they can remove the orcs by paying a particular color. For Aragorn, he can pay a gray. For Gimli, he can pay an orange. And for Legolas, he can pay a purple. There are also particular characters printed on the board already. If I spin the requirement for that character, and there's an orc there, we can remove that orc by doing that. Those are the special rules for this chapter. My one ring ability down here, which I'm going to try and avoid using, is that I can remove an orc from every space with a character miniature on it. So that is something that I want to do when I have orcs underneath all three of those guys to maximize the benefit. On that particular note, where I'm at currently on the corruption track over here, I'm on space seven out of 15. And so I can use the ring one more time without having to pay a corruption card. But if I use it two times, then I will suffer the uh, next corruption card, the Eye of Sauron cards. Uh, and I've already done two. That's why I have two that are face up. Once you uh, use these cards, they are removed from the game. I'm just keeping them face up in this deck. So I've got three other cards that could potentially harm me. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll get my cards here. I've got four cards that will be in my hand. And let's see what I have here. I've got two rings, a red and a purple. And we've got the trade hand. 
And so one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we've got an orange, Arwen's Love, two greens, a gray, and another orange. And if you'll recall, Arwen's Love is a card I earned earlier in the campaign. And this says to complete a challenge using one or more ring cards without advancing the corruption track. So that might come in handy later on if I find myself in a bind. Now, we'll go ahead and get started with my free move. I'm gonna move Aragorn two spaces. He's there on the Culvert Explosion. And I will next spend a purple to remove this orc here underneath Legolas. And I will make a trade. I'm going to trade one of these rings for an orange. And I'm gonna spend that orange. No, uh, actually, no. I'm gonna hold on to that orange. I'm not gonna spend it. Uh, I am going to end my turn there, so I will draw two cards. I got a gray and another orange. And so that's that for that turn. We will draw the first plot card, which is a seven. Now, the way the plot cards are going to work, number one is a great number for me. It, no orcs will come out. I'll actually get a story card. Two through six, I'll add one orc. Seven through 11, I'll add two. And 12 through 15 are the bad cards in this particular chapter. I'll add three orcs to the board. So number seven, we're adding two orcs. And we need to add one here on space one with Legolas. Two is filled, three is filled. We'll add one here on space four at the Culvert Explosion. All right, time to move. I'm gonna move Gimli one space there and I'll move Legolas one space there. Now I've got where I need those guys to be. I just need to move Gandalf one space, or I actually need to get, get him here on day two. And I don't have a purple. I might have should have used that purple earlier that I spent on Legolas's turn. Hmm. Hmm, I don't like it. Well, darn. All right, I am going to spend a ring to advance Gandalf one space forward, counting it as a purple. I will advance the ring track. I hate to do that so so early on in this particular chapter, but I don't wanna get bogged down here right at the beginning. And then I will actually spend two oranges to move him one more space to get him here on day two where he needs to be. And I have my gray and my red uh, to be able to pay for charge here so that I can complete charge. And we'll put a counter here on it. It says, brace the gates. My reward is that I get to remove all the orcs from red. So we'll remove all three of these guys here. And there's actually one underneath them too. And I get two story cards. And I got a gray and a green. Neither of which is what I need for the next, next challenge here. I need a red and an orange. Uh, and so let's see, but I do have what I need for a ride out with me. Um, but I also have these cards in the trade hand, so I don't terribly need these right at this time. You know what, I think I'm gonna go ahead and spend both of them to move these guys forward one space forward. And I'm gonna have Aragorn go this route because they're gonna start lining up from uh, space one here in the back. And I'm gonna have Aragorn kind of clear that out it's going this way. So that's what I'm doing. I'll draw my two cards to end my turn. I've got a purple and an, a ring. All right, so the next plot card is an eight. We'll add two more to the board. One and two. And now my free move. I will move Aragorn one space. I will move Legolas one space and have it be like that. I don't think, hmm, I will make a trade. I'm gonna trade this ring for the orange from the trade hand to get me set up here for come on, we can take them. I think that's all I'll do for this turn. I'll draw my two cards to end my turn. I have a purple and an orange. Now I am needing to move Gandalf too, so I might have should have got the green there out of the trade hand to move him to the three. But uh, 
we'll take care of that on this next turn if need be. All right, so number 10 means we're adding two more to the board. So we've got three and four filled up now. It's time to move, and I will move Gimli two spaces to move him here on space three. And having him there, I will spend one of the oranges to remove this orc off the board. And I will trade a purple for a green from the trade hand. And I will spend that green to move Gandalf to day three. I will do nothing else this turn, I don't think. I'll just draw my two. I've got a red, which means I have what I need here for come on, we can take them. But I also have two reds to move Gandalf to day four. Ooh, goodness, okay. I'd like to get another red so that I don't have to uh, spend my pair of reds to just do come on, we can take them. I, I, I just, I need lots of reds for this chapter. All right, so the next plot card is a two which means we only add one to the board, which is gonna be right here underneath Gimli on space three. It is time to move, and I'm going to move Aragorn one space. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have him move two spaces, actually. I want him there with Gimli. Now, I, it is time to take out some of these orcs. So I am going to spend a purple to remove this orc here underneath Legolas. I always want to try to have three over here because if one of those high number cards come out, then I will be uh, safe against that. Uh, and now I am going to make a trade, I think. Yeah, I am going to trade one of these reds for a purple and I will spend that purple to move Aragorn to Theoden's spot here, and I will draw my two cards. So I got a green, and I got an orange. And now let's draw our plot card for this turn. It is a 15, so there is one of those high numbered cards. So I have no orcs to be, uh, to have in the reserve. So I need to take some of them out now. All right, it's time to move, and I will move uh, Aragorn one spot. I'm going to have Aragorn actually move two spots. I'm going to go there. And I will... Hmm. You know what? I think, I think I'm going to have to use a ring here. I don't want to burn through too many cards. I'm going to spend... I'm going to make a trade, actually. I'm going to trade an orange from the trade hand for a ring from the trade hand. Uh, and I will use that ring... And I'm going to do the one ring ability, which says to remove an orc from every space with a character miniature. And this is the best time to do it because there were three uh, that I can remove with that ring. Now, it does mean that I am going to have to take a corruption card because I moved it up to the nine. And at nine, we take the next corruption card. And that says each player discards one story card if able. Now, here's where the rules get a little uh, sticky with the solo play. I'm the only player. I don't have a story card in my hand. However, the trade hand acts as the other players that would be in the game if there were other players. And so there is Arwen's love in the trade hand. And so I do think I should remove that from the trade hand. So I am going to take that out because of this corruption card here. However, there does always need to be six cards in the trade hand is the, what the rule states. So I'm going to replace Arwen's Love with a new story card, which happens to be a gray. Now you can leave it down in the comments below if you think that I did that fairly or if I should have done something different. However, um, that's the way I see how that should be played out. Uh, just playing that off the fly with no real rules in the rule book to discuss how that should be played out. So we're going to move with that. And now that was the plot card. So it is time to move again. And I will move Gimli two spots forward here. Uh, I need to get him to the causeway here. I have Gandalf there. 
And so I'm gonna make a trade. I'm gonna trade this gray with, or excuse me, a green with a gray, and I will spend that gray to move Gimli one spot forward, and I will spend a red and an orange here to do, come on, we can take them. Because I have both them on the causeway, and uh, Gandalf on day three, and uh, Legolas on Theoden's spot here. So much death, what can men do against such reckless hate? So we will remove all the orcs from the yellow spot here. Now, uh, that is my reward. I don't get any more story cards, and I have no story cards in hand. So uh, I'm not starting with much here. So that'll be the end of my turn. I do get two more cards. I have a purple and a gray. Now let's do our next plot card. It is a six, which is going to have us add one orc. And now we are on the blue track here, so we're gonna add one orc there. And I need to do right out with me, which means I need to get uh, Gimli here all the way to Hornburg. I need Legolas uh, and Aragorn at the Great Hall. And I need Gandalf on day four. And let's move. We're going to have Legolas move there and Gimli move there. We'll do that. And I need a gray and a green to complete that one. I do have an extra gray in the trade hand. This is my only purple, which I'll need for at dawn look to the east. So I'm gonna spend this gray actually to move Gimli one more spot forward. And I think that's all I'm gonna do on this turn. So I'll draw my two cards. I got a red, which is great because I need two reds to move Gandalf to day four. And I've got one red in the trade hand. I also have a ring from the deck. Let's do the plot card, which is a three. We're gonna add another to space two there. All right, it's time to move. I'll move Gimli two spots this time. There on that spot. And I will... Choices, choices, choices. I'm going to trade a ring here for a red, and I will spend two reds to move Gandalf to day four, so I have him where he needs to be. I will end the turn there. I'll draw my two cards. I got a ring and an orange. I do like having oranges, because I know Gimli is mo more than likely going to be on a spot with an orc, and I can take them out that way. Next plot card is a 14. I don't want that. Not right now. We're going to put out three. That's not great. All right. Um, we're going to move Gimli to... I'm going to move Gimli one spot and Aragorn one spot. I will spend one orange here to remove the orc that is underneath Gimli. I think I'm gonna have to, to spend the purple that I was hoping to save here for at dawn look to the east to be able to remove the orc that is underneath Legolas. And I think that's what I'll have to do. I'll draw two cards, a gray and a ring. We'll draw the plot card, which is a five. We'll add one to the board. Now it is time to move. I'm gonna move Gimli one, two, and I am going to have, just looking at what I have here in the trade hand, I know I have it off screen for you at home. It's two greens, two rings, an orange, and a gray. I'm gonna trade one of the other rings in my hand for the orange in the trade hand, and I will spend that orange to clear up this spot that is underneath Gimli, because again, I wanna have three down here, just in case. And I will draw my two cards. I got a gray and a red, okay? Let's see what I get. 11, adding two to the board this time. We will add three and five. Now it is time to move, and I am moving Legolas one spot and Aragorn one spot. 
And now I am gonna spend, I need an orange. Oh man, I shouldn't have spent all those orange after all. I needed an orange to move Gandalf to day five. I forgot all about that. Uh, I will actually spend this red here to move uh, Aragorn to that spot there. I will then spend a gray to take out that orc there. I still haven't done a trade for this particular turn yet. Uh, but I don't know that there's anything in the trade hand that I'd really want. So I think I'm just going to end the turn there and hope that I don't draw a high numbered card. Uh, purple and green. So I do have what I need here for at dawn look to the east. So here's the moment of truth. Let's hope I don't get a really high number. It's a one. Now one is great because it means I don't add anything to the board and I actually get an extra story card. I got an extra green. So that is fantastic. Uh, and I can move again. So let's move Legolas to the Great Hall. We're gonna move Aragorn one spot there. And I'm going to spend a green to move Aragorn one more spot there. And I will spend my uh, green and gray to complete right out with me because I do have Gandalf at day four and I've got Gimli there on Hornburg and Legolas and Aragorn there at the Great Hall. So I have completed right out with me for Rohan, for your people. Uh, I don't remove any of the orcs, and I do draw a story card, so let's hope it's something good. It's a red. Huh. Okay, now I am going to spend that red and move Aragorn there. I am going to trade a ring for a gray from the trade hand, and I'm gonna spend that gray to remove the orc underneath Aragorn to get me back to three over here. I really need a gray. I would have liked to keep, or excuse me, I need an orange. I would have liked that gray to spend for cliffside, but I really needed to have another orc in the reserve. So I'll draw my two cards, hope for an orange. It's a ring. And an orange, fantastic. Okay, so I know that I'm at least going to complete the chapter. Uh, now with at dawn look to the east, so that how this one works is, I need to have Gandalf at least at day five and then pay this down here and I will complete the chapter. However, if I could have him at cliffside, it's even better because I'll earn a special card for the next chapter. So that's how that's, that uh, shakes out. The next plot card is a 12, which means I'm going to add orcs, all the orcs, back to the board. So we've got one, we've got two, and we've got six. I have no orcs to work with. Uh, I could move, I guess I'll move uh, Legolas there. I could spend this ring and it would take out three orcs. It would move me to 10. And I could shoot for a sword on the next turn because I don't have a sword to work with. Ah, I don't think I want to do that though. I think I want to just move, uh, move on to the next chapter. I think I'm gonna play it safe. So I'm gonna spin this orange here to move Gandalf to day five. I will trade the ring from my hand for a green from the trade hand. And now I have at dawn look to the east. So I will spin that and I have completed the chapter. I did not get Gandalf to cliffside, so I don't get the extra story card, but the chapter is done, and I ended with the ring here on space nine, which means I can use it two times before suffering another corruption card. So I think that's good where it's at. We will end it there for this particular chapter. That is chapter six, Battle of Helm's Deep, the Lord of the Rings adventure book game. This is from Robins, uh, Ravensburg, excuse me. Uh, if you have enjoyed these videos, I please, it would mean the world to me if you would hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon. That's so, That means so much to us here at Love to Hate. Let's us know that you really appreciate the hard work we put into these videos. And you do want to hit that bell icon because 
chapter seven will be coming out soon and you'll want to make sure to be notified for when that does drop. I'm Lance and this is Love to Hate where we try to bridge the gap between gamers and non-gamers. We'll catch you next time.